This is the UAP Season 73 Volleyball. LaSalle with a 2 set to nothing lead against FTU in their second round matchup. Thank you for watching on Studio 23. And Ron Ross together with Mosey Ravenna. Set number two highlights. Mosey, what happened to FEU in set number two? Totally silenced by Adele LaSalle. You know, they had the firm, LaSalle had a firm hold since the beginning of that second set, according to Erin, because they were reminded by Coach uh, Ramil De Jesus that uh, they lost the second set to FEU in their first encounter. So, nakita talaga natin yung extra push coming from LaSalle. The blockers were always there present. Uh, going to be double block, triple blocks, and it really worked well for them and frustrated the spikers of FEU. That's why the floor defense of FEU got affected because now it was LaSalle's turn to be able to set up plays with uh, Michelle Gumabao on offense and defense. As you can see, FEU producing nine attacks on DLSU having three more with 12. But then again, in the, in the blocking department, Four and none for FEU. And ito, the unforced errors. So what's good here for DLSU is because they were able to limit theirs. Ang uh, FEU, even if pareho lang, eight errors pa rin, yung DLSU, kinat yung kanila eh. So two errors only for DLSU. So everything go away DLSU's way on that second set. LaSalle, the best blocking team in the league. And sabi mo nga, Mosey, it's common for a rookie team to have errors like that. Yeah. Pa rin eh. Same, diba? Same number. Problema lang, ang Lasal. Two errors only on that set. So nakinig naman maigi kay Kuchira. Start on set number three. <laughs> and uh, follow his Chelsea instructions third. to the team. Like, uh, very good naman sila. <laughs> very, very good followers. Lasal has not lost a set since losing that second set in their first round match up against Stephanie Mercado. Stephen Mercado. And you know, that set only belongs to Mercado. Why? It's so close to the net, you can only spike that with a high leaper like Mercado. And you see it clearly here on our instant replay brought to you by Shakey's. Shakey's, it's fun to eat pizza. So kayo marunong uh, mag-land for me. We're so close to the net. Plus, ang inaalala mo, yung blockers, yung, yung feet ng mga blockers in the opposing team. Magbababa, magpaksama. Usually, that's where the collision is in volleyball. Gumabaw again. Michelle Gumabaw. Another textbook play coming from Gumabaw. Alright, this should be interesting. Uh, maybe Nico Ramos can tell us what happened Sir, before it is set. Let's go to Nico right now. Anton and Mozi in that bench in this uh, FEU team. It's a tale of three people who are not young. We've said it a million times. The FEU team is a young team. However, the three people who aren't young have been dominating the top waves in this bench. There's a guy on the bench, Coach Nes Pamilar, who's telling his girls, go all out. Wag na kayong magtira. And there's also the, uh, the girl on the court. Maika Murada, who told uh, her teammates, guys, wag na tayong matakot. Players lang din yan. And then there's also the will, the woman on the bench who would give anything on the court. Rachel Andakis right now looks like she would probably give up a whole lot of things to be on that court to help her team out right now. So it's pretty interesting how it's all shaping up. But Nes Pamilar, again, reminding his girls, don't leave anything anymore. Go all out and let's try to get a set, guys. Thank you, Nico. That's the only way to beat Lasal. Is uh, for FU to go all out. Labas mo lahat. Sarap nga, no? If you were Rachel Ann. Talaga. Siguro gusto mo naman mag-sub. Ano lang, pasok sa phone booth, Rachel Ann. Oh my, well, she was part of that uh, last FU win against Lasal in game one of the finals. No season 71, we're in FEU. Uh, won game one and then LaSalle won games two and three to win the championship two seasons ago. Last year, of course, that heartbreaker against UST in the finals getting swept. So, this is a team on a mission. Outside point for the Lady Tramadol. But FEU 
one thing you can't take away from Temozi is their uh, their history. Oh, the winningest school in volleyball, in the sport of volleyball. If I'm not mistaken, 29 championships. Well. Exactly, 29 championships for the Lady Tavern. Uh, gained prominence during the past decade lang. Winning five championships. I guess even during my time, it was really USD and FEU for a long time. Even in the men's division, it was the same way. And speaking of the men's division, exciting action also in the men's division. FEU played earlier today, undefeated. Pa sila, 10 0. Wow. Yeah, so men's division. So if, if you guys want to check out the men's division, uh, come early. Uh, the games start before the women's uh, uh, games, which start at 2 p.m. USD. 9 and 1. Natalo sila sa FEU during their first, first round, round encounter. Five sets good. Maganda yung second round encounter. Yeah, something to look forward to. Oh. Some ball. And speaking of something to look forward to, Feb 9, malapit na, you get to watch the Askels. Ay, uh, yan ang maraming following. Nako. <laughs> the Askels in the Challenge Cup qualifier versus Mongolia. It will be held at the Panaad Stadium in Bacolod City. It will be aired Feb 9, 7.30 p.m. So do check that out. Balita ko nga, wala ng tickets eh. Oh. Di ba now printed ang tickets? Sold out na. Great. It's really great for football. FU right now with a three-point lead, but Cha Cruz. Beautiful angle on that hit by Cha Cruz. Look at her go for the middle hit. Look at that. Michelle Gumabal. Gumabal from way out. Giselle C. Who will she go to? She chooses Hanson. Alarka digging up. Maranya to Cruz, oh! Wanted to go for a cut shot. A little bit overset. Jackie is not too happy about that. Walking back to her bench, they're down by three. Back with more of set number three here on Studio 23. Stick around. FEU trying to keep themselves alive here in set number three. Although right now they are down by three. Eight to five. They are up by three. Rather, so. Uh, a more aggressive FEU team, Anton, uh, in this third set. Well, sabi nga ni Coach Ness, all out na dapat. Of course, they need this set if they want to stay in this game. Already a do or die set for the Lady Tamaros after losing set number one. Taking set number one after FU was clinging to them right before the 20 point mark. LaSalle got set number one, now 25 to 19. Abigail and then Manuel. set number two, LaSalle dominated FEU 25 to 11. After this, of course, we have Adamson University against the University of the East. Adamson in a crucial, crucial match against UE. Wow! Saved by Gohing. Gotta commend that. Gohing is diving for that volleyball. And Hanson, you know, is throwing her body up in the air. Victory, Each and every time she goes for an attack. Majori Rojas, though, finding the open spot on the Lady Spikers defense. The third, Nana Hanson. Well, look at this save. Oh, this is, I think, the last point. Oh, block. Oh, just too powerful. As soon as Micah's hands touched that volleyball, she just covered her face knowing that... And she took it sideways. Yeah. When like you cannot uh, absorb the power of the spike, because like that, when you receive it, you somehow absorb the power of the spike para you can give it to your uh, setter uh, in, her, in your setter's place. Step Mercado now, off speed. Vargas. Rohit, another excellent dig. Alarka. And 
that ball by that C out. goes out of bounds. Mercado letting it go smartly. MTU keeping things competitive here in set number three. Vargas. Step Mercado now. Oh, and that power, sheer intensity coming from uh, Mercado sends that ball flying after the block. And now the game is tied here in set number three. Let's go to Erin Torrejon for an update. After that second set of the Lady Spikers, there is no doubt Coach Ramil is proud of his Lady Spikers and was even smiling. But with the game far from over, he warned his girls once again of being too overconfident and told them that they should just channel all their energy into ending the game in this third set as if you will be looking to bounce back. And one way those Lady Spikers plan to end this game with a bank is by trying to create as much plays as possible, but at the same time maintaining their level of blocking and also good coverage throughout the court. And the last thing that Coach Ramil really wants his girls to keep in mind in this game is that they really need to keep their eyes on the ball and not on their opponent. Anton and Mosey. Yeah, FEU committing a violation. Wrong server for FEU. Should have been much support. What a mental lapse there on the side of this FEU team. 